Okay, let's construct a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And uh, before we do that, I think it's a good idea to draw a sketch and then take a look at the properties of this right triangle. So if we draw one side and one side, okay, and this is a right angle, okay, and again, this is just a sketch, okay, and this is 90 degrees, and this side connected to that side, this is a 45 degree angle, and this is a 45 degree angle. And if you remember with your geometry theorems, if you have two angles within a triangle of the same measure, their opposite sides must have the same length. So knowing that, that's gonna help us when we do our construction. So let's get started. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line, and this will be one of the sides of the triangle, and we'll make it super long, okay? And if you look at our drawing here, we need to make a 90 degree angle. If you remember in our other videos, the best way to do that is simply construct a perpendicular bisector. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick uh, a random part of this segment. And we'll draw, here's a point. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw two endpoints here. So here's one. And of course, on the other side is another one. And again, our compass is guaranteeing that we have same length between here and here. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll take our compass again and using the first end point, okay, we will sketch an arc up here and an arc below. And then going to the other end point, we will sketch an arc above and an arc below. And then we will connect these intersecting arcs with a long line segment, okay. Okay, and what we now have here is we have ourselves a right angle, just like up here. Okay, now the next part of this is we know we need to make two congruent sides. And so, again, we use our compass because it measures arc length. And we use that to measure the length on the segment. So let's take this corner of this, where these, this 90 degree angle is formed, right here. And let's just pick uh, an arc length this distance okay and we'll do one over here and what we've now just done is this point to this point and this point to this point are congruent lengths and simply connect these two points and this length and this length are the same and therefore this angle and this angle are the same so these angles must be 45 degrees each so we have a right triangle, 45, 45, 90, and we just constructed a 45, 45, 90. Okay, let's draw one more. Here's our 45, 45, 90. We're gonna copy that or make one that's similar. First we do is draw a base like so. And then we need is we need a right angle. So to do that, we take our compass and pick a point here for our midpoint. And we draw two arcs of equal distance on this line, there's one, there's two, one endpoint, two endpoints, and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw an arc above and an arc below, okay, and then from the other endpoint, we're going to draw an arc above and an arc below, okay. And then we're going to draw a line through these two intersecting arcs. Okay, so this is a right angle, which is similar to that. And next we need two congruent line segments, which will give us two congruent angles. So we take from our vertex of what's going to be our 45, 45, 90 triangle and we draw an arc of this length, we draw an arc of the same length, and then this point, this point, this is the same length as that, so we will draw our hypotenuse, our side like so, and there you have it, 45, 45, 90. This is also 45, 45, 90, because these are congruent length, and this is a 90 degree angle.